let's talk nostalgic case. Jamie, roll it. Interstellar, man, this movie, dude. Wow. Um, you know, it came out in 2014. I was actually very young when it came out, and it's just one of those movies that's just like, it sticks with you and it makes it think. Like, humanity is dying, lack of food, lack of crops, and nothing's able to grow. There's a dust bowl everywhere, and Matthew McConaughey, ex pilot, now farmer, is um, recruited by NASA to go into a wormhole to another galaxy and potentially find life that will, you know, save the planet. And it's just beautiful. Just just find a planet that will, like, help and people can go to. There's so much twists and turns, and is this planet habitable, is it not? Time is different on each planet, and that's another aspect I want to talk about, is Christopher Nolan's discography and how a lot of it I mean, Christopher Nolan's filmography and how a lot of it had to do with time. Tenet is about manipulation of time in three different ways, and many different ways. Interstellar is about how time is different in across space, so it's hard to actually, like, you know, get what you got to get done when time is so differently compared to how time happens on Earth. It's a lot to take in, but when, um... And the main theme is about how um, love and compassion is um, one of the most powerful things ever. And it leads humanity to its best um, best moves, best decisions. And how acts done out of positivity and love make everything good. Because when in the beginning, they're all thinking about how they can serve the... Um, the variable of time and how to get things faster but in the end they start thinking what's convenient for the ones around them the world the population they have to save then everything goes the right way and everything happens in the best way it's one of those movies that just makes you cry and makes you just hope that humanity will be at a better place in the future and such of these dark times where there's um injustice within the corrupt police system and all of the black lives matter thing because black lives do matter and and you have to like you have to be a compassionate human being you can't be on the side of hate you can't be on the side of hatred and think that hatred is is justice it's not it's not what should be justice is justice for like brianna taylor all those people you should be a compassionate person and what this shows is a better future for humanity. This movie shows a better future for humanity. We can move past this horrible thing that we have going on on Earth. Because what do we have on Earth that's going good? I mean, you know, it's excellent to see these films and all these media. But really, like, I gotta lay back. I just gotta lay back. But really, like, is this, is this it? Is this it? Is this it? Is this all we have? Is this all we have is... We wake up, we jerk off, we get our breakfast, and we just fuck it and watch a couple movies and talk about it with others. I mean, it's fun. Don't get me wrong. It's fun to do this. But, like, listen, like, is this really it? When are we going to start colonizing places? Like in Lost in Space, for, for instance. In order to get onto that thing, you had to go through many tests to test your abilities to survive in amazing situations. Nobody knows how to do that this day and age. Nobody knows how to fucking make fire when you don't have a fucking lighter that you bought from a fucking gas station. Everybody's stupid. We're taught the same algebra and mathematics that get us nowhere, and we're taught the same fake on here on Earth. And I know it sounds morbid and depressing, but, like, if you just talk about the depressing stuff and don't talk about how it can change, you're not being productive. Well, I think Trump is one of the worst presidents we've ever had, and he's one of the most outspoken scumbags. The fact that people can just 
screenshot of a Trump tweet. And that's like they think that that's doing their that's doing them doing their social justice. Like just showing a bad tweet doesn't get anywhere. Like start you should start spreading petitions instead of spreading tweets from someone to get them canceled. Well, I do agree Trump's tweet game is not that interesting and it's not that good and he doesn't know what he's talking about a majority of the time. But listen, you have to, in order to get things done, you spread it in a positive manner, not a attacking manner. And I feel like that's the direction most people think that they're going. They think that, they think that their opinion that they have to shove it in someone else's fucking face like they're at a fucking you know buffet and and, and you know if you don't eat then you're a fucking outcast you know it's just they're shoving it in their face and the reason this movie sticks out to me is it just shows what a good version of humanity is one that makes decisions out of compassion and that's such a, a rather mundane cliche thing to say that Love is one of the greatest aspects of the human psyche in that it is one of the most beneficial things to ever exist in the current time frame we are in. But it's true. It is true. And while I do seem angry sometimes at people, at associates, at people I do business with, it's all out of a positive way. It's all out of a positive intention. And I try to explain myself to people that just think I'm just selfish and want to pursue my own interests. But really what I'm here to do is what I'm, what I'm skipping out on people and events and friends to do is spread positive energy to my viewers. And that they can share the way humanity is moving forward. Because it's so much fucked up shit going on in the world. And it really, it really makes me think about my purpose. and Because everybody doesn't have a purpose until they figure that out. Okay. I never knew I wanted to do a podcast when I was fucking one years old. I didn't even know a po what podcasts were about two years ago. But here I am, bullshitting to you people. And I have to say, I am proud of my bullshitting. Because I hope I make you think. But I don't know. And all the fucking horrible pain in my personal life I've gone through. This is where I always end up. If there's an issue with my personal life, the people that cause those issues go. But what stays is Haskast. This is just what this movie means to me is that humanity is never done evolving. Even when we're not a physical fucking human being, when we don't exist in the physical realm, when we evolve into that. We still will maybe move on to something larger, something creators. This is very similar to 2001 A Space Odyssey. We're at the end of the, of the movie. Humans evolve into something better. And it shows hope that humans will become something better. Against this tyranny that is based off of selfish compassion and greed. While, people, while it is good to be selfish as long as you're being selfish and to becoming ability to have resources and give those resources to other like you know but but overall if you that's not a mentality you have you can have forever and it fucks things up you know whenever I do something that I feel is right I always check with someone. It's like consent in um, terms of a relationship, of things to do in a relationship. That companion, uh, with their consent, to do anything. Consent is key in this world. Has, 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 has,
Media Empire. Mike Media Incorporated.